I come outside and uh, one of the students I, I'd been working with had been stabbed like multiple times, like in the face, in the neck, like in the arms, in the legs. Like, he must have been stabbed about 15 times, boy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fucked. Like, he had blood gushing out of his face. So I remember just. Uh, what what, what, what sit- did you think? You must have been fucking. <laughs> this is this some out of body. Uh, yeah, where, where yeah, do I yeah. go? Where do I, it's well, not in my remit. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I just held his face. I just held his like all the parts that were leaking blood. I just kind of held on to them. And then the the ambulance arrived maybe like five ten minutes later. Yeah, that shit fucked me up for a little bit. Fuck right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like seeing someone basically die in front of you for for you know five ten minutes, kind of mad. Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com Street Culture TV Instagram UK Frontline Beatbox Creative KillerKeller And we're here to talk about world music and street culture KillerKeller Podcast Right, we're getting into this Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central London, as central as you need to be, choose to be, you don't want to be anywhere else, and if you are, then it serves you fucking right. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout, that's some NFT business for you. Uh, big shout out to the sharers and carers, people that have been uh, supporting the podcast from the jump, you know what I mean? And uh, if you're a newbie, you know what to do, jump on uh, iPhone, Android, forward free download of the television app, everything you need in your life for me. Docs, Big Docs, uh, and the podcast that uh, we love notoriously. Inside the house, we are about to chop it up and have a chat. We've already had a few drinks in the chat anyway, so you know it's going to be good. <laughs> Four, three, nines, very own DK in the place. Oh, Niners, Niners. <laughs> you saying, bro? That's a big intro like that. Yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> Well, you know, we've, we've, like I said, we've had a, we've had a couple of drinks in the pub. We've had a couple of juices. Setting the worlds to rights, haven't we? Mm? The mm. old man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the game is, the game is tight. Um, East London. Yeah. It's where you reside. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and have been for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there for about, I think maybe 11, 12 years. Why? Why? Uh, just for work, really. I mean, I was desperate to move to London mm. when I was younger anyway. And then the kind of job opportunity came to me, uh, working in a college and stuff, and they were in East London, so I kind of moved myself to East London for that reason. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, it's funny, when you're living outside of the circuit of London yeah. and getting in, we were talking about this just before we started recording, a Crawley Man, um, yeah, Bedford, Bedford yeah, whole type yeah, yeah, Bedford yeah. crew, come on. Uh, you see everything from the outside and it's almost like it's one big kind of massive creative congestion going on. Yes. So how do I get into that? Yes, it was a lot of... <laughs> I mean, from young, I was already obsessed with London. Mm. I think, yeah, my mum took me down to London to go to Camden when I was like 14 or 15. Mm. I can't remember what the occasion was, but mm. I just remember being like, I need to be here. Do you know what I mean? And from then, that was the sole mission was to kind of get here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I feel quite fulfilled now that I'm here. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's a nice kind of contentment. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm sure you feel it as well. I feel it all the time, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes... It's just uh, you... net meant to be. You're meant to be here. When you're around open-minded people mm. and you've got kind of nice things going on, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. I haven't even been back to bed for, for like 10, 11. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never went back. Bro, never went back. I don't think I've been back to the village that I come from. I don't think they'd have me back, to be fair. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Why would you, why would why would you go you? back? There's it's nothing there for me. Do you get what yeah. I mean? I kind of made my whole life about yeah. trying to get out of... Yeah. Like, when I was there, you know what I mean? I, I You know, I enjoyed being there for that yeah. time and yeah, yeah. doing yeah. whatever I was doing. And yeah, But yeah. a lot of the people that I was hanging out with were doing things I didn't really want to do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Doing drugs and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Get Like, raving was the kind of thing that I enjoyed a lot yeah. when I was younger, graph. And then a lot of the people I was with were doing the stuff that I really, really want to go stuff, down. stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't really want to go down that route of doing... That stuff. That stuff. But what... what? 
interesting because I maybe maybe I know the answer. But what 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 makes the city so appealing, almost to the point of fuck? I just I it's almost like a calling, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It is. It is. I don't know. Do you know what? I'll give uh, a lot of shout out to things like Bomber that. Like I used okay, to go, I used to go pulling my, that out. I used to go around my brethren's mm. house. Mm. Uh, he used to write Revo, who lived around the corner for me, and he, I think he had like Bomber one and Bomber two, and I used to go around his house and plays. Yeah, you know, you know, put the old uh, towel underneath the <laughs> the door, yeah. smoke out the window. Yeah, he yeah, used to yeah. be doing a lot of that stuff, yeah, and that that was like a big influence for me. All the Bomber that stuff, all the London. Style. So we're talking like late nineties, early noughties, aren't late we? Late nineties, early nineties. Yeah, like yeah. two thousand, two thousand one. Yeah. Like, uh, if anything, I almost like the sketches more than I liked the. That's right. Chrome dubs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, I liked all that stuff as well. But seeing like a full color fume sketch, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every well, because you got the coordinates from when you see that, you're like, oh right. So that's how. That's, that's that stuff, like the sketchy thing, because obviously with sketching, you can kind of relate to it. Mm. Like with the spots, okay, they've done their spot with the sketching. Mm. Even if I'm not in London, I can still try and sketch mm. like mm. Matey Boy. Um, we had Zelda in Bedford as well. Big up Zelda. Yeah. Now there's he, a man, yeah, he yeah, used to yeah. get around south as well. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. He, he come to Bedford and moved into Bedford. And even though Bedford's like a tiny little town... Well, we had a sick little graph scene, mm. yeah. There was like him, Khan, there's a few other people. There was like maybe about 10 to 13 to 15 writers in Bedford. Mm. Drazik, I've got to big him up as well. Oh, like, tight, yes. Like there was a good little scene for how tiny that area was. There was a good little graph scene. And then obviously Zelda came in and kind of taught everyone London style. So, that, you know, the more blocked off, mm-hmm, kind of mm-hmm. squared off style. Mm-hmm. Everyone kind of looked at him as like an influence. And then there was like the other influence that we had from maybe like Northampton, Peterborough, yeah. Cambridge. Peterborough had seen, man. Bro, big up Dine. Dine, fucking Dine's right. Sick, bro. Dine, and That's an OG a, right there. And he's a cool guy as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, big up he's Dine. a proper person. Mm. His frap used to be sick back in the day. My friend used to have little photos up in his bedroom. When we used to go and smoke weed up in his bedroom, he'd have photos <laughs> of, like, <laughs> things that, you know what I mean? He'd have the little photos, because, bro, he didn't have, like, Raph Mags on the internet, yeah? So it'd be like, he had a flick of, like, Diane's throw up on a, on a box on a trackside. That's, like, that kind of stuff. And he'd yeah. have a couple Zelda, like, Darbs. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Like, uh, like Slam. Slam yeah. hat stuff, brother. I used to love on, their stuff from back in the day. Come on, man. Peter, I'll stick with Peterborough for a minute because that that is a great example of like scenes, like almost like harm. I'll say it very loosely. Comment below. Harmonious in the sense that it's so small, it's almost like shield protected. It's got this. It's got its influences of the South, obviously with London. But it was the same in Crawley. It was the same in yeah, Brighton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they were the internet. Yeah, you couldn't really. You couldn't really go on Instagram and get all the bubbly, funky arrow nah. stuff. You got the what you're near yeah. is like the style that you basically emulate. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I saw Diane doing this and that and whoever else it was. And it was like, I mean, I always like the London style. Mm. I like straight letters, mm. like New York, mm-hmm. Paris style. I like that kind of quite legible reading like letters you know what yeah, I mean? absolutely yeah so it's like but them not had a bit of a funky twist in it it was a mm. bit looser mm. the colors schemes weren't as like it wasn't like a fade it'd be like weird patterns with bubbles and things on it like, yeah i quite liked that kind of st- but your style kind of and for those that you know check the intro you'll see everything's going on here like you, you your letters are way legible you can read yeah, 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 yeah. and then you add the color on top yeah for me I don't really see the point of graph if you can't read it. Yeah. What's the What's yeah. the point? Yeah, like you can do a thousand colors and a yeah. million arrows. Yeah. If you can't read it, I don't yeah. really see. Like it's cool for a piece of artwork, but mm. yeah, on the street, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah. I want to know who that is. Like who are you? Like yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. be able to read that shit. Give me an example of because of course you got your diets of the world. You got yourself. You yeah, got yeah, people yeah. that really do spell it out. 
But you, I mean, actually, no, you're you're different. You're different, really. But give me give me an example of of a writer that can pull off a wild style, but you're still able to. Oh, yeah. that's a good question. Oh, I like it's that. It's got to be the balance, and it's yeah, got to be someone yeah. out there that can do that. Yeah, it's got the. I'm not gonna lie, I rate Vade, yeah. Yeah. I that's my boy, Vade. obviously, yeah. isn't it? So Big that's my Vade. that's my brethren, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Vade can rock them kinda And you can still read it as well. Yeah. That's the shit. That's bruv. actually rare, isn't that's it? That's the shit, bruv. You can all do this all this weird, funky, yeah. mad lettering yeah. and then put a million colours into it yeah. and it's a thing, but yeah. when you can read it, Obviously, I know for yeah, us, not, like, we can read, like, when you know graffiti, you can kind of read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, he's he's putting it off. He's Lo- kind of mastered that shit, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lone as well. Lone's yeah. doing the, the techie, techie, spiky. Yeah. Like, man's coming from LA. Yeah. He's got that weird yeah, kind of, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that kind of style. LA. LA vibes. Kind of spiky, kind of, kind of, you kind of need to know what it says before you can read it. Yeah, like an anagram, like yeah, format, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I'm trying to think of who else can do like wild style. I mean, I've got to give it to Chick and and, and bees, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Them lot of proper, yeah. they're proper cemented that kind of West style. Yeah, I say them lot are like mm. when it comes to West style. Mm. I feel like Chick's kind of come off zombie style, but then he's made it into his own thing. Chick has. An amazing like big up chick for the time he yeah, met, which is done. He's, sick. he's just like, the, the elevation has been crazy, and the, the purism of this is how it's going to be. This is how I'm going to operate, and just taking advantage of that history that Graf has, and just reapplying it in a different way. Yeah, it's got a very kind of like New Yorky yeah. fire to it as well. Yeah, big chunky 3Ds, letter yeah. structure sick, all yeah. arrows going everywhere. Yeah, it's that's what smooth. I'm on as well. Yeah, I do like that style, yeah. but then I also kind of like. I do like frappy, one colour. Yeah, yeah, I've, noticed, I mean? I've like, noticed on the board, mate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> For me, do you know what I mean? I do quite like, I'd, I'm getting to the point where I'd prefer to do like one, two fraps than do like five pieces. Really? Yeah, I don't know, like the the piece thing's cool, but it's also kind of, I prefer to just go and spray something mm. and get it done and over with and... Like that's the buzz. I get more of a buzz off of doing that. Well, you know what? That's interesting you say that because when I see your stuff, and I'm always quick to like it because I'm I'm a fan first. You understand? But when when it comes to, I can tell when you've put the attention on a on a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny you say that. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. I can like, tell. ask me a special day if <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna spend more than like. If, if I'm gonna spend more than twenty minutes on something, yeah, it's yeah. a special day, yeah, and yeah, if yeah. I'm with a certain amount of people, mm. also your... like, do you like being around people when you're doing your pieces like that? Uh, I think it's I get I get super yeah mad. like to be honest if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go and do a piece yeah. I want to be with people do like you? Do, like if I'm gonna do a legal piece mm. the whole thing is to go and chill with everyone have a beer mm. do you know what I mean mm. that's a whole element that I like of graphic it's like a mm. social thing I'd rather go and you know have a beer and chill with everyone at the mm. wall and do something that's cool. But the more kind of chilled out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like the bars I get more off is going to do something illegal. I'd rather, mm. Even if it's just walking down somewhere and going to do a throw up on the side of something, I enjoy that more than spending three hours doing a piece. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much, much more. How, how quickly can you turn around uh, f- uh, a full colour piece illegally? What's the time? However it needs to be, really? mate. Really? I can do it in... 10 minutes because he's just quite chilled man like it seems to be quite I mean, tolerated I know yeah I, I mean know it depends where you, it depends where you are on it I think yeah. I think it depends where you are like if I need to be three minutes mm. I can probably bang out a piece with full colours in five minutes if I need to mm. but if not then yeah I'd like Shall to shall I ask it yeah go on because what I've noticed with your with your piecing is there's a certain pattern that I think allows you to be on at any time timer uh, schedule, any like small proximity of time, you can still turn it around. It's almost like uh, it, it's it's almost like stamp. You're able to just you're you're able to replicate the, the the level the same level with your same style, and still walk away like you know what I mean. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true to form. Yeah, like I, 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 brother, I take graph very seriously. 
Like, I I would never want to do anything shit. The only time I ever do anything shit, I think, is maybe when I've had a few drinks. Really? And it's a bit loose. Really? But I do take graph very seriously, even if it's like a tag. Like, I like to do my tags sick. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I'm a student. Mm. Like, I study what I do. I like to be able to do good tags. I like to be able to do a throw up good. I like to be able to do pieces good. There's certain people that they can only do one element mm. good. Mm. How do you feel about that when they can only do one element good? No, that's cool. It's whatever you want to be in it. I'm just a, mm. I like style, bro. Yeah. I'm very into style. Where's that like, come from? Where's the idea of, of perfecting what you do to that hip-hop. level? Hip hop, bro. The whole thing of hip hop is being the best, bro. Mm. Mm. If you're if you're a break dancer, you have to be the break the best break the best dancer. One. Yeah. If you have to be an MC, you have to be the best mm. MC. If you're a DJ, you have to be the best DJ. Mm. It's the same, brother. I look at everything like hip hop. Like yeah. you have to be the best. If anyone chats shit to you, you have to be able to say like, nah, I can do this. I yeah. know I'm good at this. Like, that's, that's, that's the whole element of hip hop now is kind of that whole believing in yourself and being like, no, I am I know I do this good. Yeah, that shit should be like the national curriculum, shouldn't it, really? <laughs> Which leads us on nicely. Leads us on. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Uh, dude, you're... And then little people know this, you know. So, well, they don't. They do now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, you've you've uh, your uh, your teaching skills. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk so, about the day job, man. It's it's mad actually to to have heard it firsthand and been like, man, like you're you're on a different energy. Tell us more. Tell us about uh, about the teaching. Game. Yeah, tell me. Because uh, the energy's good. Oh, I thought, well, basically, I was doing some. Dead ass jobs when I come out of uni, um, and then I was like, I've been making music, music for years, yeah. Mm. And then I saw a college was advertising doing music production and music business. And I was like, oh, okay, I think I want to do that. I've looked at that age criteria, and it was I, I was too old to do it, yeah. And then when I spoke to my mum. She was like, oh, I actually know the guy that runs that company. And I said, like, we got Mumsy, by the way. Yeah, yeah, she's Mumsy's very like, much an influence, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive. I already told you today, yeah. yeah. My mum's my biggest influence, yeah. And she's always showed me how to work hard. Mm. Uh, and she kind of twanged whatever she had to twang, yeah, to get me into <laughs> working there, yeah. I remember <laughs> I just turning up with my Air Maxes Proper and that. Yeah, yeah, I went got to some college in my Air Maxes. I've turned up, I'm like, yeah, what are you saying, mate? And he's like, oh, can you mix, like, mix down music? And I was like, yeah, 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 I can do that. So I've mixed down a little album. I've done a few little bits for them. And then, you know what I mean, I, w- I was going to leave. And he was like, oh, do you think you could uh, teach some of the young people how to do, like, graphic design? I know you've just done a few bits for us. Mm-hmm. Could you teach that to young people? And I was like, yeah, of course I could, of course I'll I could. That, yeah. Never thought about being a teacher, but I just thought it's a bit of money right now. Mm-hmm. And then I think I worked there for a couple of months and then they, it was September and they offered me, at the end of it, I had a chance to teach. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want to teach. Like, I, that's not me at all, you know what I mean? Really? Like, I'm into music well, what's and doing What was the resistance on that? What, what, what happened there? You just were like, uh, was it too much of a thought that you had to actually dedicate some time to You know to what that? it is? Like, my mum's a teacher. So for me, I was like, I want to do that. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do like self fulfilling prophecy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I don't really want to do the same thing my mum's done. Mm. And then, but it was cool. Like the college that I was working for was cool. Like you know, everyone was doing like music, and mm. I was like, nah, God, oh, fuck it, I'll do it. And then, bro, the maddest thing happened to me in the first year of teaching. Like, I remember this vividly, yeah. It was one of them things mm, I was telling mm, you about. Mm. I remember, like, the students running up to me in break time and, like, sir, sir, come outside. And uh, one of the students I, I'd been working with had been stabbed, like, multiple times, like, in the face, in the neck, like, in the arms, in the legs. Like, he must have been stabbed about 15 times, boy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fucked. Like, he had blood gushing out of his face. So I remember just... Uh, what, what, what did you think? You must have been fucking. <laughs> this is this is some out of body. Uh, yeah, where, where yeah, I go, yeah. Where I, it's Bro, not in my is, remit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I just held his face. I just held his like all the parts that were leaking blood. I just kind of held on to them. And then the 
the ambulance arrived maybe like five, ten minutes later. Yeah, that shit fucked me up for a little bit. Fuck right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like seeing someone basically die in front of you for, for you know, five, ten minutes, kind of mad. But I just firmed it and then and went back to work the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they what were telling coming? me, they were like, you should go and have counselling, you should, you yeah. know what I mean? And I was like, That's no, what no, I was no, no, I'm just going to. But if anything, it just made me more want to do the teaching thing. It made me actually want to do it more. Like, you know how certain people would probably be like, oh, I don't know, it's big. That's for me. Bro, that made me like, no. Like, I'm staying in East London. I'm going to look, I'm going to make sure, like, I try and help all the young people that I work with. Was the kid all right in the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Was cool. um, uh, in those environments, uh, do you... Okay. Actually, let me go back to uh, directly after that happened. Going home to your missus... Closing the door, tranquility, low lit lights, maybe a bit of Love Island or something. I don't know, whatever your missus watches. But you're there and you think, you never guess what the fuck happened today. Like, how do you process that? How, how, do, you, how do you remove that and leave it outside? That, that's a no, lot. I didn't, bro. I like fully went into it. Like, I had like one of the guys that witnessed it, his mum, like, I ended up talking to her like when I met her on the street and she was just like, oh, da, 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 my son witnessed it and now he's got to go court. Like, brother, it was a big thing for like two yeah. years. Really? Two years on? Yeah, because there was like all the court case that had to happen and then Matey Boy had to have like, uh, I think they had to do something with his voice box. Like, what? He got, he got chefed right in his throat, innit? So he couldn't really speak properly for... For how long? For like eight months or something. He was like talking. How old was he? Like 15, 16. This is fucking terrible. So I'm saying that's so what kind of the why. Kid? Was the kid, did the kid go to that school? Yeah, they were all in the same class. Do you know the maddest thing about it? Yeah, it was like uh, one of them dropped a pound coin and the other one stepped on the pound coin. And from there, that's how it all happened. Maybe we got stabbed in, like, stabbed about 15 times about a pound coin. Mad. Yeah. Yeah, mad, mad. But if anything, I don't know, it just made, it just me, more fo- it made me more focused on trying to help people. This yeah. is why I like chilling with, yeah. you know what I mean, and working yeah. with young people. Uh, that, you know what I mean? I kind of, I get where they're coming from, mm. like, you know what I mean, mm. in terms of doing certain things, but I want to I wanna kind of spread that message of being a good person. Mm. I think that is the, that's the, this, is the this is the motto of the, the podcast, you understand. Energy, isn't it? Hundred percent, bro. Let's get into that. Hundred percent, bro. I mean, you're you're in a beautiful space now with your missus and the yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the journey that you're on, and yeah. you know, of course, there's fucking shit things we could always do and get yourself into you know, some substantial negative consequences with. But um, some people, it's really hard to remove. I mean, you need a good woman for starters, but also you want to do it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Like I was telling you earlier, like I was into doing some bad stuff when mm. I was younger you know what I mean I used to look at people like like you're like if you are behaving a certain way you're a victim like if you're acting drunk and you're leaving your money and phone around that's your fault mm. if like if you get if someone takes your stuff that's your fault do you know what I mean but as I've got older I've started realising like nah like you're actually mm. you're actually being a horrible person doing that stuff you know what I mean mm. so I think working with young people as well, like I couldn't work with those kind of people and be doing that stuff and preaching another message, you know what I mean? So it's definitely helped yeah. me. It's definitely helped me. Like I'm trying to be a good person. I really want to be a good mm-hmm. person. I think that's actually... You know, trying about it, you are. It's, it's happening. But that's what that's what counts in life, man. Yeah, 100%. That's what counts, like being a good person. 100%. Like for whatever graph you do, you know what I mean? You can do a million trains, bruv, cool. But are mm. you a cool person? That's mm. really what it's down to now. Mm-hmm. And at this point, we don't advocate any of this. But we all know that when it comes to graffiti versus other things, the other things could be seismic. Some fucking horrible shit. Like being stabbed 15 times for absolutely no other reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a few people get stabbed up with their, you know what I mean? Yeah. With their guts hanging out in front of me, bro. It's, it's not a... Yeah, I've seen some mad... Mm. Mad stuff. 
So I mad th- stuff. I think I look with a lot of I think with a lot of what goes on here, and this is I think of an age you get to this point of conclusion. But if you want to, if that that the 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 chips will always be stacked up against you. But something happens, and it's a mindset shift where you say to yourself, "Hold a minute, am I going to forever blame the government?" For how I can't afford shit because of the price rise. Or am I just going to actually sort the pricing out of my head and get on with it? Do you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a deep question. What are we looking to blame people? Are we looking to To kind of deal with it from in? Yes. Yeah, I get you, bro. When I was when I was younger, you know, you go through that whole thing of like you start to find out about politics and you start being angry at certain things and cool. But do you not also think the amount of money in your bank account depends how much you can be angry. Yeah, t- Bro. T- 100%. Get it. Totally. Like, if you're rich and you've got no worries in the world and, yeah. like, anything happens Can't to you, your, parent, to your parents are just like, I'll pay for that. Cool. Like, what's, what's going on? With your, yeah. You haven't got a hard. Like, an, uh, another thing that's big that's happened in my life is one of my, one of my students was murdered, like, last year. Wow. Uh, Rest in peace, Gulam. Yeah. Gulam. He Rest in lived. Peace. He was a student that lived opposite. I just bought. I just bought a property. He lived opposite there, so I was, you know, I was teaching him for a, a year, and then afterwards, I was living where I was living, and he was basically my next door neighbor. Yeah. Lovely. And then uh, I remember. I remember the day vividly. Yeah, I remember I being. Um, I went to with my missus to go and have something to eat, and then I remember loads of police yeah flying past us. Yeah, mm. by this point I've already I've already kind of socialised with him outside of working with him. Yeah, he's like eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Proper blessed, you yeah, mm-hmm. nice guy. And I've texted him saying, "What's going on? Like all these police cars are flying down to your road." No text back. I've walked down there and then I've seen a body like lying on the floor with a white sheet on it. And then I'm starting to hear people say, Oh, yeah, da, 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 it's good arm, it's good arm. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to, oh, wow. I don't want to hear that too much. You know what I mean? It's kind of, uh, yeah, that's something that's massively influenced me in terms of trying to help people as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a that's a big thing to me. And I'll always scream his name out. Yeah, as soon mm-hmm. as that happened, I went and painted a big Golan piece. Like round the back from where we live, mm-hmm. yeah. I went and went and done some graphic, him, yeah. Always, I've got a love for all the people I work with, but like as being a kind of person of the community, I like, you know, what I mean, mm-hmm. graph's not even, it's not even just graph sometimes, you know, just being able to paint something for mm-hmm. someone who just died. Mm-hmm. Now, like, I'm, I'm good friends with his brother, yes. I've met his mum, like, good. they're, yeah, brother, because I went and done mm-hmm. like a thing for them, and they're like, you've actually gone out of your way and done something for him and it means the world to people <laughs> bro, your bro, you know what I mean like it holds so your much brother's value. just been murdered and you just gone and done some yeah. like I done a big big dub for him you yeah. know what I mean it took out literally the end of their road on a massive dub yeah um, it inspires people and it, 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 it to trust the, the the humanity in it yeah it's a lot isn't it for people it's more than, it's more than people can well you did that that's fucking incredible Bro, I went and cut down. Imagine I've gone, I've gone there in my shorts and like cut down all the weeds from the wall because it was right next to where he lived. Mm. Cut down all the weeds. Like I've gone there, I've ripped up my legs. I've got all the kids that are from the local estate like shouting at me like, "Why are you spraying his name?" Da, da, da. Mm. I've gone back there at four in the morning to finish it off. Like that was mm. something. That's something that's actually meant more to me than doing any train or doing mm. any kind of you know what I mean bit of graph like. Mm. Painting for people that I've known have passed on that yeah. means more. Wow, rest in peace again, man. That's <sighs> see, you see the honour in this guy, man. Fucking decay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy how graph is perceived. How do kids perceive graph? Uh, like I was saying to you earlier, bro, well, that's what we're bringing up now. <laughs> if, we, if we don't make money, what's the point? Is like, that the a attitude? lot of like, I think a lot of Youngers are like, well, pff, mate, if it, why are you doing it if you don't make money? Mm. It not make any sense. Same with like, I think with a lot of kids with rap, it's like, they can rap, but they're going to make money off it if they, you know, that whole thing of blowing. 
I want to blow. They do know they don't make money off of rap, don't they? They, they are Yeah, but there's that, like, someone selling them a dream of, like, yeah. oh, you can, you can do this. Like, yeah. you could be a Stormzy. You no, can you be can... on BBC News and yeah, yeah. be palatable for but it's, all it's, ages. It's made to look like it's like a flash in a pan and it's yeah, not. Yeah, bruv, the music really scene not. is corrupt, man. Yeah. That's a whole... It's like, a I was telling you, like, I made music for 15 years solidly, yeah? Mm. And I've done some stuff with... You know, okay artists, some okay artists, you know what I mean? Mm. But it's when it got to the point where I was trying to sign with management, mm. that's when it got to the point where it was very... Sketchy. Right, when they're giving you them contracts and sunset clauses and they're like, mm. oh, I, will, I will still own, like, mm. rights to your song. Even if mm. me and you don't work together for, like, 10 mm-hmm. years, I can still own 50% of your music. Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, if you go to Mars, then we will take 100% of music because we've actually brought your music to Mars. <laughs> Do you know just shit like that, it's isn't it? Trying, they're just trying to fuck you over, isn't it? Yeah. Music is music is yeah. basically like yeah. It what what it is 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 you're constantly lily pad leaping across to get to the other side, except they're not lily pads; they're crocodiles. That's basically it. And if you get caught, then you're going to be hanging around there for ages, injured. But this is why I like craft. This yeah. is why I come up. This is why I stopped doing music and done craft because there's no promise landing graph. No. There's no, like, finish line. There's no, like, you're going to make millions of it. I just do graph because I like doing graph. And that's a lot for kids to understand, isn't it? It's like, what do you mean you yeah, like yeah, something yeah, and you're yeah, not yeah. getting paid? What? Yeah, 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 like, what do you get out of it? It's like, well, I get, I get fulfilment out of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you're not going to get money out of it. So what do they do as an extra something hobby? I sell drugs. <laughs> what do you mean what they do? They sell drugs, bro. What are you but no, but is that, like... like, no, but I'm talking about, right, okay, so in order to sell drugs, right, You've got to be in a place at the right time or a certain thing, and it's got to look inconspicuous. You've got to be... A, a, <laughs> Bro, well, I don't go, think they need to look in, really? inconspicuous. I think they're just what trying to make money. A, what is their extra social time, then? So if it's not sitting there waiting for someone to shop with a beer, I, what, what is it, then? But their their outlook on life is so bleak. It's like, we can't even comprehend, like, what their life is like. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, me and you are... Bro, we're so blessed. blessed. Yeah, like, right. we've, we've had good parents to look after us. Bro, yeah. imagine your mum's... A nitty, and it's like you have no money coming in. You've got nothing. You're like your dad's not there, and like yeah. you are literally like someone tells. Bro, I've had the maddest people that I've worked with where they're like, "Bro, I've been told to go and sell this to my mum's like, you know, off out of her head, and I've got like a three year old kid that I need to go and take care of." Bruv, they do the stupidest, craziest county lines kind of thing. Because they feel like they have to. Because to... they feel like they have to, bruv. And some of these guys, yeah, that I chat to are big boys, bruv. They're some big boys. When you see them, you wouldn't fuck with them. But then they talk to you and they're like, yo, I basically got made to go to the trap for like three months. And they beat me up. They bullied me. You know what I mean? They're big boys. They're not like people you'd... Yeah, yeah. But they condition, they almost like, but break down to build back up. Bro, it's all... Hurt people hurt people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know where they're, they're them damaged kids, mm. bro? You know what I mean? Mm. Fuck. That sounds like um, back in the day, I, I had a couple of mates that were in the army and they, would like, they, they were like, well, you get conditioned. You, they really do break you down, build you back up, and then you are built like a soldier. Yeah, I know like someone had done that, that the Marines thing, wherever they make you watch like footage of like people getting murdered, yeah, for like hours, yeah, until you're like, if you don't feel any way of seeing yeah, someone yeah. get their head cut off, yeah, 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 that's the same shit, brother. Imagine you live in the hood, you've seen all this mad shit go on, and someone's like, "Oh, do this for me, and I'll give you a score," yeah, and you're like, "Done, <sighs> done." I don't even care. What I just got to go to this car and just drop this in his window. Why not? How do you reckon that correlates with? I mean, we. Got I've got some friends around here that have got, you know, dads and elders that that were of that gang world, and a lot of times they tell me stories, you know, it's um, tenaciousness in that game. It's like how how much can you push your chest out and and be you know be almost like fucking leave your leave your mark on a situation yeah. by being as brutal and fucking horrible as you can do you think that it sounds to me that that's it's perpetuated so much more nowadays it's almost like it's like up to 13 where before and back in the day with the gang stuff like the craze the richardsons etc you know this is like this is like small fry compared yeah. to now 
I think I thought with like the crave thing though, that's like you know when you're kind of you're part of organized crime. Hmm. Whereas now it's just kids on road like small and not, not organized like, they're at not, all. They're not committing themselves to being the craze, mm. mate. Mm. Their mum's just not at home and they need to fucking feed their little brother. Mm. It's not like they're not committing themselves to being organized criminals. They're just like, bruv, I need a tenner to pay the electricity and do you get what I'm saying? How do you combat because th- energy's right here. We may be talking about some dark shit, but it's all for good reason because uh, with every dark comes light. You uh in the mix, you're doing it. How do you keep a positive mental attitude on on it? Like you've obviously got to be the you've also got to be the teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has to that has Boy, to kind there's, of there's there's two things like there's one that's made me feel so humble, yeah. Like uh, after teaching for like a year, I was like, Oh my god, my mum son. Mm-hmm. The Best job. Go on. You know when you hear people tell you their backstory and you're like, oh my God. Like, I thought I had like a hard upbringing. Right, tell the backstory. Like, who, who is it? Was it a kid? Yeah, like, you know, I mean, like I've been, you know, like a single parent mom and da 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 Like you think you've had a hard life and then you hear people being like, I live in care. I've had my parents abuse me. And you're like, oh shit. Like yeah. my mom done a fucking. Yeah. Like that made me blessings, super big blessings. Hundred percent, bro. You start to realize when you start to meet. You know when you get older and you start to meet other people that have had mm. other experiences, and you start to realize, shit. Like I've had a blessed experience. But that makes you forward it on, doesn't it? Hundred percent. That's the whole thing is about. Yeah. That's why you're trying to encourage people to be good human beings. It's like, bro, I hear mm. you. Like I hear you've had a mm. fucked up mm. life. I, like. I, I think I've had a mm. not the easiest of lives, whatever. But that's all uh, relative, you know what I mean? Like I think I've had a hard life, but I can meet my guy, and he's like, "You've had it easy compared to me." Do you think that's why the energy resonates? Yeah, you, because yeah. it actually is all about energy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Because you can meet somebody that's, you know, they've been abused, but then they meet you, and you're like, "Oh, that's not happened to me," but I mm. still get on with you. Like mm. I still got things in common with you, like. That's why graph's so powerful and music. Mm. Because one hundred percent. I was telling this to someone the other day. Yeah, you know, you're to uh, like we're working in college. You got these bad boys. You know, cultural appropriation. Yes. Yeah? Like, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> what are you allowed to be into? Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard certain people say like you can't listen to Bashman or you can't listen to reggae. Oh, what? But I don't like it when I hear certain people pretending they like Bashman. But it's like I think. Religion and music, and we might put graph in there, yeah. are things that you can't put a kind of a, what's the word? You can't you can't kind of not let people be into them. Yeah. Like with religion, yeah. you can't tell some, like if I believe in something, yeah. you can't tell me oh, I can't yeah. believe in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, like if you tell me agree. that you're a Buddhist, I can't then go and say to you, Yeah, but I'm an atheist. What are you doing like that for? How? Yeah, but day? also being like I'm a more of a Buddhist than you. You're not allowed to be Buddhist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with like music. Like if I want to listen to heavy metal, you can't come and tell me oh, I can't listen to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, if yeah, I yeah. want to listen to fucking. Like go a side trance. You can't tell me I can't listen to that. Is there a show I call that? <laughs> Can you send me the links? Yeah, that yeah. fucking sounds great. Well, I'm gonna listen to Bangra, mate. Yeah, I'll listen to Bangra. Well, you do, don't you? I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. into it. Big up Sidhu, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah, but big up and also, furthermore, uh, the spiritual side of yes. of uh, of Bangra of the culture. Yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. Your, flew, yeah, 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 your, yeah, your yeah. missus as well, like Punjab yeah, 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 culture. Yeah. Uh, Again, another huge uh, twist of uh, of storyline here is that you're. It's part of the, the positive energy that you bring. Yes. Very lucky, man. Very yeah, lucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. I mean, living in England, we're lucky, no? Big time. I mean, England invaded all these countries and kind of cheeky done, motherfuckers done the fuckery yeah. they done. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all the people that they kind of invaded have come here. Yeah. So for all those people that are saying fucking coming over here, taking our cheeky motherfuckers jobs and da da da, da. That's no. That's another podcast. England, that's, that's another hour podcast. England, England done that first. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. England are the fucking, yeah. the, the biggest bastards out there. Big time. Uh, so you're spiritual. You, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, like you were saying, I like to go to the Gurdwara. Mm. Yeah. I super enjoy going mm. to the Gurdwara. 
um, just having that time to kind of sit down and think. Mm. I, I'd, I preach that to anyone, just having some time, even if it's five minutes, where you just sit in, sit in your flat. Mm. Bro, I do it in my flat sometimes. Just sit in your flat and just chill. How do you do that, though? Because there's a lot of things going on out in the world. Like, how do you, how do you stop your mind from thinking? For more Bro, than that's what it's 10 about. Seconds. Yeah, but that's what it's about. That's the whole trick of it. It's like that's how, a hard how do to you fix. stick? Yeah, but it's the same thing with graph. You can't be sick here in two seconds. Don't yeah. be sitting on your floor and expecting to re- reach nirvana in <laughs> ten seconds. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> It's about Done trying it. to yeah, yeah, yeah. King it. <laughs> do you even spiritual, bro? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What What are you? Uh, no, the whole thing is just trying each time to kind of, you know what I mean? And learn about incremental, yourself. incremental. Learn about, you know what it's about being comfortable with yourself. Because mm. who's comfortable with themselves? Only real ones. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like I've known. Nuts, people. They are not comfortable with. Mm. Yeah, and I've met some people that are quite introverted and stuff. They seem more comfortable with themselves than certain people. Introvert people. They're you're right. They're almost at peace with it. I kind of rate that. I envy. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Like, I don't think there's anything bad with being introverted. No, not at all. I mean, more the merrier. I think it creates yeah. some amazing, amazing moments. ADHD. Anyone to big up the ADHD crew because yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, that's what I work with now. Like I'm working with people with like a uh, SEN, yeah. ADHD. That seems a very really common thing. Like yeah, it's when I was younger, so do you ever remember anyone having no. ADHD? No, everyone had dyslexia and no one gave a fuck. Bro, <laughs> was dyslexia a thing? Yeah. When you were younger, was oh, dyslexia? It I mean? became a new thing. Like, oh yeah, I, like, Lee, I am Keller's fully got... dyslexic. Yeah, like, no way, I'm, but I've not got an official diagnosis. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, like, do you ever remember in school them saying? I had it. Uh, they 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 said to me, "You're dyslexia. Your dys your dyslexia is right. You're going straight down to the lower levels." And it was only at that moment when I was like hanging out with people that really like you, you know, the nitty end of things. And I thought, was a fuck? What am I doing here? I mean, I know I can't read a fucking so, t- t- time yet. But so fuck. is that even giving you that word? Is that making your self confidence feel like, bro, I'm I'm not intelligent. Like I have dyslexia. No, like no. I'm I'm not in. Like I'm I need to hang around with these kind of. No, people no, cause... no. If anything, help me because like, I know the next thing I was like, you know, I was above. It's killer killer above. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm a happy camper. But at the time, though, I was certainly like, fuck. Well, okay. So, but what happens is you end up being able to talk to people. On any, oh, yeah, any people, fucking You know when they you know get I mean? the dyslexia thing, oh, you're dyslexia, they're like, yeah, yeah I knew I was stupid. And it's like, bro, it's not. Yeah. You're not stupid. No, it's no. just your, your brain works. I was chatting to my girl recently. I can't, when she talks about things, I can't, like, imagine it in my brain unless I see it on a bit of paper. I need mm. to see, like, numbers or, like, I need to see things written down. That's right. Like, if someone asks me to spell things, I need to write it on a bit of paper first. Mm. I can't, do the whole like look into the sky and kind of yeah, spell yeah, things yeah. out. I, I kind of my mum was numeric, numeric dyslexia. Yeah, I can't count for dyscalculia. I, see that clock up there? You won't see it, people, but there's a clock up there. That's because I can read that. You know what I mean? Like I know what time I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit is impossible. To, I was like 16, 17 before I learned how, how to read a twenty-four hour clock. And she was so deep. Bro, there's certain words that I'm still like, I struggle to say. You know, like, uh, I think it's answer, yeah. I'm never like, is it the W or the S? Like, there's certain little things. Uh, all of that, bro. Even that I mean, commu- computer, I before E it. and all that, yeah. Oh, yeah, spell right. check's the worst because well, you send something else thinking they spell checked it. I right. went around for them lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, I think those sorts of scenarios actually paved the way for a little bit of. Um, uh, grounding and the common sense. Common sense shines through when lo- when. The, the, the Bro, sense ain't common, though, no. Say again. Common sense is it like sense isn't common. Yeah, like a rare. lot of people don't have a common sense. Yeah, that's right. That, that, I feel problem. like that's a. You kind of either have it or you don't. Mm. You know what I mean? But you can be super intelligent. Like mm. you know what I mean? You know, Hyper you went to school with like people that are like getting A's and yeah. A's, 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 A's yeah. but they're not like streetwise. No. But then there's people that are streetwise that are like, no, no. couldn't t- spell their own name. The amount of times y- y- you can see 
the moment you walk out the door, especially in London, you keep, you've got to be hyper, you, hypersensitive anyway. You know the moment you jump out the door, it's going to cost you seven quid off the bat somewhere <laughs> to go anywhere. To right? so literally walk down to the end of the road yeah, yeah, yeah. seven pounds. Yeah. That was seven quid. Yeah, you know I mean? But you can clock a, you, you know, car's parked up, there's a trap spot. Okay, right, yeah, this yeah, guy's yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just That's see like, everything. You see everything. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing of living in the city, though. So mm-hmm. You start to get put on for, yeah. you can clock what, bro, imagine when I moved into my flat, I think after a week, I saw some woman smoking crack outside some, in some guy's car in my car park. That's and then, like, suck him off for, like, 20 minutes, bro. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I kept, like, going out to the back window, and I was like, oh, it's still going on. It's weird, like, oh, that's, that's the great. thing, like... But we want to live here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> nice wanna, place. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we want to live in London, so I don't know. It's mad. But what is it? Is it like, it's like a moth to a flame, It's the energy, isn't it? Isn't it? I yeah. think when I was getting into graph, when I was... Uh, when I was in Bedford, like we always looked at London, like that yeah. was the same for you, probably. Yeah, man. Yeah, in totally. South, in it, like totally. you're looking at that, it's like that's what we be part of. Yeah, I remember. Do you remember those moments when you walk into the city first time as a kid, and you see the fucking skyscrapers? Don't matter where you are, you could be, be the size size of it. I remember for 1997 walking into it so young, glazed, and I was like, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna king this. I'm gonna be the best beatboxer, but 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 I can fucking possibly. Sick, sick. I love to hear that, bro. Bruv, that I like that me, energy. It's me for the moment. You bro. know what it was for me? Yeah, it was like a carnival. Mm. So when I was like 16, mm. like my boys, they already knew a couple of people from London. So we went down and we were with uh, OPEC, Avia, mm. who I think mm. you spoke to as well. Aves, yeah. yeah, Cube as well. Yeah, whole tight Cube, mm-hmm. and. Bro, I just remember going there. Oh, you were, how, old, how old are you? Bro, I was like 15, 16. It was sick. It was sick. Like, yeah, yeah. We asked my mum all drinking, mm-hmm. budding. And then from then, well, I think I've only missed like one carnival since then. Or like maybe two. Like I've gone religiously after that. So what was your thought when the first one? What, what were you thinking? Bro, it was lawless. I was just mm. like, what? So we can just come here and just graph. I remember OPEC being like, you can do what you Big want. Big up OPEC as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Milton Keynes crew. Yeah. I remember Dave. him just being like, yeah, you can kind of do what you want. And obviously, I've been to London quite a few times before mm-hmm. then, but like that was a point where, where we were rolling a big like group mm-hmm. of people. It was kind of like, we were just doing what we wanted. You know what I mean? That's what, And then Carnival for me is basically about just being... Was that a subconscious thing then where you were just like, yeah, this is a bit me, I'm having this? Y- yeah, like I've always been into being like my own person. You know what I mean? I'm sure everyone is into being their own person, but I mean, you know, it's being... Free. We well, have to be to get out of the country, out of the not? state you're I in. Like you want to get just it. be who I am. Yeah. Like if you don't like it, that's cool. But I'm just gonna do what I'm doing. Carnival. Do what you do. Mm. Come down. Dance with everyone. Dance with some mad Russian guy who's like <laughs> 17 and giving you a bottle of vodka, and you're like, yes, bro. You need to get run over by the tires of a yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. a float. Super you know, cool memories. Oh man, carnival. I love it. Like, I love it. I love carnival. I prefer it more than festivals. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen Damon Albarn, yeah. Johnny Depp. Like, I've seen all of yeah, them. Yeah, all of them. Carnival. Yeah. Carnival's all a good vibe, man. It's the best. Um, and you're very right about the graph. Uh, more so, this last year gone, I just felt like, fucking hell, everyone's uh, it's, bombing it's, everything. They're nah, just that's, been a, that's been a thing for a little while. But uh, Yeah, hold, but I holdings. Do, I will agree with you on the terms of like, it's gone a bit mad recently in terms of like everyone turns up, brother. Two got, nights before. I've got mad people calling me from like Spain and like mm. Czech Republic and things there. Like, oh, have you got someone that can link up with my boy? He's coming. And, uh, like, it's become a big thing. Whereas yeah. before it was just like the man then would link up at All Saints Road Park, yeah. get painting, boom, 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 boom. we'd have a little chat, you know what I mean? Huh. Do a little thing. But also, I've seen Big Up Fabe, by the way, and also seeing Mo2, Teach, all them lot doing the, the, the boards. This stuff goes for money now. you seen this? You, you fucking sell yes, that shit on eBay. Yes, houses. yes, yes, yes. That's bonkers. What's your kind of thoughts on selling graffiti? My thoughts are for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm all about it. Why yeah, not? bruv. Yes, definitely. Come on. I'm, on. I'm on making money. Yeah, yeah. So we've got to give kids the opportunity to sell Because we're, of... we're sick now. Because <laughs> we're good at what we do. You guys are like, good at what you do. You do what you do. Like, I was, I've been telling that some youngers recently. I'm like, bro, do you get paid for doing craft? And they're like, no, bro. I'm not really on that. And it's like, why not? So you'll go to work, mm. you'll get paid, what, £12 an hour to mm. lift, lift some shit. Bro, 
You can get paid thirty pound an hour for spraying something, bro. Why ain't you on that? Plus, plus the plus. Yeah, you know I mean, why are you not on that? I get the whole like, you know, what I mean, doing the whole like illegal graphing. I get that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that can be hand in hand as well because nowadays, like, but I get look at paid it. for doing your thing. It's like you know when you're younger and you do the whole like the bands that you like are sellouts and you're like they've gone commercial. Mm. Mm. You know when you're younger, in it, there's certain like or like whatever rappers you like, you're like oh, they're bro. not underground enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh, bro, they've got, they've gone a bit commercial. Yeah. No, they're just trying to make money off of what they like doing, like. And you hate it when you're younger, but as I've got older, I'm like, bruv, mm. if you're going to pay me £500 to go and stand next to a load of fucking children mm. and show them how to spray paint, give me that money. You know what I think some of it is, and, and, and I'm not speaking for graphic, obviously you guys, you know, you speak for yourselves, but when it comes to music, uh, faithful to the few. Be faithful to the few. So if you're going to do something commercial... Be brazen and say, this is commercial. Hi, Roundtree's Fruit Pastel commercial. There you go. Have some beatworks. Right. Then there's the, okay, we're going to do a club night today. And it's going to be strictly there. We're going to have Jess come down. We're going to have Skinny Man come down. And it's going to be proper. It's like you've got to just be able to read the room. Like a lot of a lot of times, uh, industry's really bad at reading the room because there's too many people sitting around yeah, the table. Yeah, but their thing is they're trying to sell, they're trying to make money off of you. Yeah. So what, 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 what can we expose out of yeah, you yeah. to make what money off you? Maximize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but graphing, that's why graph don't really work for them. No. They're like, yeah, we're not really. How do we place how do, that? How do we make money off yeah. this? You can do a T-shirt. But as a graph artist, I think there's a space for everything. I rate force actually for doing like the, the the canvases. You can go and do exhibition stuff. I don't know how it patterns up at the end of the day, but it looks right. It looks correct because he's still he's still king in it. He's still able but to. The, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like I, like I rate them for doing that stuff, but I also rate people that don't do anything. Yeah, I, like, I like too. people that you know them. But that's the purest like, in our heads, though. Bro, you know them people that they'll drop a piece like once every two years mm. and they'll drop a burner mm-hmm. and you're like, bro, they're badder than <laughs> anyone that's selling any canvas, yeah? Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's the same with music, you know what I mean? You could have some guy that releases tunes every two minutes and then you have one guy that releases a tune every three bro, years. Do you remember Jai Paul? No, who's Jai that? Paul is a bad man. One of those ones. Uh, I don't know if Task Force were to release an album right now. Like, yeah, do you get what I would I'm just saying? be like, like fucking you know what I mean? I'd be like, like, yeah, oh, that's amazing. It. And even if it was shit, you'd yeah, still, still like it. it you still like it. You'd be like, well, but they haven't released anything in three years. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, there's no end game in graph, in it. No. Same with art. It's all art, bro. Yeah, it's all, all art. artists. Yeah. Music, we're all artists, yeah. yeah. There's no end game. No. What do you think there is going to be someone at the the end of this giving you a pat on the back and a badge and saying well done you you'll be top... 30 people at your funeral you'll be forgotten about in three days time right, do right. good luck with that boy, that's actually one of the things that I tell all the youngsters yeah, yeah? yeah. when you die who's going to be at your funeral because yeah, yeah, yeah. I who will talk and will they remember no, you years the thing, ago the thing is about do you think people who are scared of you will come to your funeral do you think people that actually respect you and like you as a human being mm-hmm. will come to your funeral? Yes, God, that's they right. will. So being a bad man on road, that's cool. But yeah. bruv, when you die, who do you think is actually going to show up? That's, that's what right. it's about. That's it's what so life's about. It's fucking bro. true, man. There's yeah. loads of tall tales like that where this bad man is it? oh, where'd you die? He died the other day. Oh, well, did I ever say anything? It's because no one fucking cared. Scary Bro, how the fuck's that? Yeah. How fuck's that? And you've done some mad stuff yeah. and no one gives a fuck about you. Yeah. Notorious living. Yeah. But dead is... That's why I'm saying about being a good person, bruv. Because yeah. that shit carries on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you're a nice person, every time you meet someone, they're like, oh, he's a good guy, bruv. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That whole, when you die, really? like, it's leaving a legacy of, like, your, your kind of... What do you stand for? Mm. Being a cunt don't get you that far, I don't think. It really doesn't. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're out. <laughs> DK! On that, on that, DK! On that note. On oh, that, no, right. <laughs> Yo, we're out like it was our fashion people. DK's gone for a while. We're out like that. Sharing is caring. All right, don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Crime don't pay, neither do they. Be lucky. Peace! Woo! That was-